Ricky Rackman here in Miami Beach, Florida. Remember, this is the first date of the Megadeth tour with special guest Suicidal Tendencies, and we're here. And we're just kind of warming you up. This tour will be across America, and you will want to see it. And right now, we're hanging out with Suicidal Tendencies. So tell us a little bit, uh, Mike, how's the tour been going so far? Uh, well, we just... Considering you haven't this is the first date. Yeah, see, this we're kicking it off in America right now, Halloween. But, like, we did Europe, and it was... It was really, I had a good time, you know, speaking for myself. And uh, Yeah, now were the European dates, Heather Mike, were the European dates the first time uh, playing a lot of the new stuff, the uh, for, yeah. for Art of Rebellion? Yeah, that's the first shows we did. Actually, the first show we did since August of last year and stuff. So this is the first time we're playing in the States for over a year. So I was playing the new stuff. It's cool, you know, doing the European thing. Saw a lot of other shows. It was cool. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, when Suicidal Tendencies, I'm talking to you, Rocky. When Suicidal Tendencies were playing over in Europe, were you playing with Megadeth, or was it a different uh, show there? We were headlining. Uh, uh, we were playing with <laughs> Rage Against the Machines, L.A. Ben. It was fun, though. Yeah, so things were going over good over there. Yeah. But you're happy to be back in America. Of course. Absolutely. Now, tell us, uh, are you going to be playing all the Megadeth shows, or? Um, pretty As much. long as they'll keep you on? Yeah. As long as they keep us. Okay, we're going to uh, hang out with Suicidal Tendencies, and also we're going to find out who that guy is right there, because Suicidal Tendency fans, you've probably never seen him before, but right now it's world premiere time. Here's a world premiere video from Ugly Kid Joe, so damn cool. Other guy, and we're going to find out who that other guy is. Jimmy DeGrasso. Who is? Italian. Italian. Italian guy. The new Suicidal Tendencies drummer. Oh, Congratulations cool. about being the new drummer Suicidal Tendencies. I mean, you went and auditioned for him and... Yeah, audition like everyone else, and they called up and said, want to play for a couple years, and, you know. Were you a Suicidal Tendencies fan? Yeah, definitely. Now, how's the new stuff? I mean, it's still early to tell. The new Suicidal Tendencies shows that the band's definitely progressing and is quite different from the older Suicidal stuff. Now, how are the European, like, the European fans are the only people that have heard the new stuff live before. How did they react to the uh, new stuff live? Oh, it was great, because uh, it's a different situation in Europe. We didn't have our first records released till a while ago, and uh, like five years ago, whereas in the States it was 83, and uh, it's our best-selling record over there, and um, you know, it's the biggest shows we've ever done, it's the best response we've ever had, so it was really exciting and stuff, and plus we hadn't played, our last show was in August, I guess, of uh, 91, so we hadn't played in a while too, you know, so it was interesting getting back and just playing and stuff, so that was cool. So. Is it a lot harder, the new album, The Art of Rebellion, seems more intricate and it's got a lot more stuff going on sort of effects and has a much wider fuller sound is it harder to play some of that stuff live as it is opposed to some of the earlier stuff uh every time we've done a record people uh you know before we start to tour they ask about it when we did a second record we did how will i laugh that was oh that's so different than your first two we do the lights camera that's different than your other records and and you know after we do our next record after this one they'll say it's a lot different than the ones we've done but they all fit in together afterwards and i think live is is a, is a special thing for suicide that's important and that's why you know we're out here show that you know what we can do and what we're all about now Jimmy is this your first time going on a big tour um, haven't done any touring for a couple years so it's it's been a while pretty much been staying and playing the West Coast a lot so we just got back from Europe and everything went. looking forward to playing across America though yeah definitely where there's I understand the money and I understand when I'm getting room service so it's uh, yeah you know what the food is it's not a guac one in Stockton well, in Germany, in Germany. Can, yeah. you have spetzel in Germany no nah, man I some can... thick creamy stuff yeah that moves I stayed away from that crap anyways uh, we're gonna be hanging out with these guys don't forget the tour is going across America when there? you get there show up early you know give time for traffic so you can check out suicidal tendencies going on before Megadeth and uh, right now let's play something from Pantera, dig this one a lot. This is Walk of Suicidal Tendencies. And in the background, we have your bus, and you're just about to embark on the American tour. And there's your bus driver, who has absolutely, who has absolutely no idea of the hell that he's gonna be in soon. I got a question. Living on a tour bus, does it start to get crazy? I mean, because you basically are living on the bus, right? Well, we have fights every night and get our aggressions out. And sometimes you have to pull the bus over because it gets too crazy. So we go on the side of the highway. Do it with it. Yeah. You start to get on each other's nerves. Well, see, I, like, I was practicing, like, when we had our week off between Europe and, and here, I, like, got... I had to go pull over on the side of the coast highway and fight some guy and he socked me in the mouth. But just to keep up to date with, like, the everyday life on the bus with ST, it's all about... Just don't fighting on the up. side of the road. Hey, see, with the, with us guys, especially like we we watch each other, you know. Don't get the knuckles. And, and, and Roberts, Roberts working out now, Robert's so he, he's getting big. 
<laughs> he's got the he's got the album. But it seems like I mean maybe it's just the first tour, and if we hook up the first night of the tour, we hook up with these guys in a couple months, it'll be like this. But it seems like you guys are excited to get back out on the road and look uh -huh. like you're having fun. Yeah, because we, you know, for those European spit it out. Shows, for those European shows, this first time the suicidal's played in over a year. So it's nice to get back out and get rolling again and have our, our side of the road fights. <laughs> <laughs> so look for suicidal tendencies. And if you don't get to see the show and you see a tour bus pulled over on the side of the road, back them up, man. Come over and fight with us. <laughs> they need help. Welcome, they need help. We welcome challenge. Anyways, we'll be back with more <laughs> from Miami Beach, Florida as the Headbangers Ball continues. <laughs> on stage suicidal tendencies is in the midst of their sound check and mike one thing that i wanted to talk to you about is not only are you working with suicidal tendencies about to kick off the tour but i understand that there's going to be another infectious grooves record which is the band that you and robert are also in yeah we finished the record out uh right before we went to europe and uh it's going to come out in january and uh doing the new year's eve show okay, at, Megadeth yeah. at long beach Thank you. and uh you know Working, working around the suicidal. So New Year's uh, Eve, remember when Megadeth company. plays Infectious Groove is going to be open yeah. up. I mean, is there one that you like better, or is that not a good question? I mean, both a lot different. No, it's different, and that's that's the you know the beauty of it. You know, there's a lot of fun. There's some similarities with certain things. You see some of the same people, but you see some different people, and it, and it's it's a challenge. You know, it's it's different, and it's and it's fun. It's it's a variety. You know. You can like Italian food, but then again, you know, you bust out every now and then on a nice steak. Exactly. Now, is Infectious Grooves kind of your funky side, you and Robert's funky side, and as opposed to uh, Suicidal being your rock side? Yeah, well, I think Infectious, a lot of people say, man, well, maybe a little bit, like, lighten up. I mean, you kind of have to seem to goof yeah. around a little bit more with Infectious. People say, how could you do that? And that's actually the music that, closer to the music that I grew up listening to, you know? Suicidal's more of a reach to me and stuff, and, uh, but, you know, it's like doing the thing, interpreting it the way you want and doing what you want, and I think that's what Suicidal's about. Not letting people tell you who you should be and what you can and can't do, but let your, you know, your abilities and your effort determine what you're gonna do. Right on. And we'll be back here, remember? Megan, that's Suicidal Tennis these two it's kicking off tonight in Miami and it's playing across America. We'll be back with more Headbangers Ball coming to you from Miami, FLA. Headbangers Ball invites you to a night of culture at the symphony. Symphony of destruction, that is. MTV presents the Megadeth 1992 tour. Underway and heading your way with special guest suicidal tendencies. Keep watching MTV for details on the trash bash the surreal Headbangers Ball. Another kind hiding behind a collar. His only God is the Almighty Dollar. He ain't no prophet, he ain't no healer. He's just a two big guy on his feet. Send it, you gotta send it. Send me your money, you hear what I'm saying? Send it, send it. Mike and Robert from Suicidal Tendencies. Now, the first show 
of the first night of the tour is just completed. And uh, how's it feel? I'm going to Disneyland. No. Uh, feels good. Yeah. Robert, would you elaborate? Feels nice. Um, I especially like the nice warm breeze flowing through my skin and the impact that it had on my performance. Um, my bases really love this show tonight. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to say, you know, I've seen a lot of opening bands, and when you guys went on, it was totally packed. Everybody knew, especially like when you did play your leads, and everybody did, you know, knew the words, and it was, it was very cool that everybody knew the words, even to mommy, you know, that they knew the words, the older songs as well. Don't you agree? Absolutely. You know, when it, when 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 a song is written about people's mamas and stuff, there's a reaction. And people are going, I see your mommy and your mommy's dead. Comida de mama, which means. Uh, Tell me talking about me in Spanish. Nana Falkenstein. Nana Falkenstein is a bassist. She's from Aguas Caliente, Mexico, and she's really good. A little old lady, about 60 years old, cooks like beans and rice. Where, where, did, where did this subject come up? She says she's 58. Well, you know she's going to be up. Talking about them doing songs, they knew the words, and we're talking about a 58-year-old bass player. We're going to let these guys talk about the bass player. Go see the show. Show up early. You know, there's traffic sometime, and you do not want to miss... Uh, Suicidal tendencies, right? And uh, there'll be more headbangers, Bob. Huh? Exactly, and there'll be more. Except when you're New Year's Eve in Long Beach, and it'll be that infectophibian thing. Infectophibian thing. Will Sarsipius make an appearance? Sarsipius might bust out. We'll Ooh, see. okay, right. okay. Just wanted to make sure. Holiday trying to outbid for him. You know, they got a big Holiday Inn bash going. In, but. Well, check out the tour, and there'll be more headbangers ball on location in Miami, Florida, when we continue. So, uh, oh, 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 we're gonna play a video right now from Suicidal Tendencies and. Mike, you look great in this video. What's it called? <laughs> you look so good in this video. You look very young and dapper. Dapper? Dapper. Isn't that what a baby wears when they don't pee? A dapper? You look, you look, uh, you look young. What video is it? Wait. Institutionalized. Uh -huh. Here's Institutionalized from Suicidal Tendencies. Here, the show is over with Dave Mustaine and Mike Muir. And uh, how did the things go? I mean, sometimes you have like a little glitches, a couple mistakes, but did things go pretty smooth? The only glitch was you walking out on stage. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. And Do you have any coming? Standing out there all night during our songs. That's, that's not what this is about. This is a metal show. And it's like, you guys aren't supposed to be out there on the stage. So what do you what do you oh what are you talking about? Those guys? Yeah, but see what they're trying to do is they're trying to show the people at home a little bit of the Megadeth show, so they all go out and buy tickets, which they probably would do anyway. So, okay, how did you feel first show? Uh, it was you know we haven't played in the states in 14 months or whatever, so it's it's interesting. We did this thing in Europe, and uh, it's good to be in the states, you know. I was we were really excited about it, and we're excited about the tour, and I think it's good, you know. We'd much rather play here. Now this question goes for both of you. This is your first time playing in America with the new albums out. Um, how was the response? Was it nice to see the American kids singing the stuff live? Yeah, it's nice to see American people, period. <laughs> nice to use an American toilet where the toilet paper isn't like sandpaper. Mm -hmm. And was there a pretty That's good response? That's why you grab the Kleenexes. That's yeah, the one I learned. Yeah. You know, there you go. The paper. You just grab the Kleenexes. It's like... There was, there was, there was pretty good response when you guys did some of your new stuff? Yeah, it's cool. We, you know, we're going to switch up stuff, play a little different each night and stuff, you know, make it fun and stuff. But, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, you know, it's exciting doing it for the first time. And I saw this. I was, I was walking through Miami. I saw a gift for you. A Punisher watch because I knew that you were such a big fan I, and I spent a real lot of money on this gift for you and Mike. What about a week's salary, right? Mike, I got you a, a hand puppet. Oh, thanks. That's cool. <laughs> thanks, Ricky. The That's opening, cool. the opening to a present. Why are our friendship? Friendship? I'm doing everything again. Even cheap watches. Stick around. Headbangers Ball continues from Miami. Bye.